that's our first part is to make a night sky version. Now, with dark skies, we then have the problem that we don't see the stars all the time because of lights that we have down here on Earth. Mm -hmm. And we can model that as well. So okay. again, pretty much another type of light source, it might be a torch, it might be a book light. But if you have that near your night sky planetarium, can you see the stars if that torch is lit? You know okay. how it is when you go outside in the city, there's street lights. We like to be able to see to cross the road. But if you're standing next to a street light, can you see the stars up in the sky? So you can model that by adding a little torch next to your planetarium. So if you, so if you have it like this, and then I'm covering myself, or if I'm in a dark space where I can start to see the lights up here shining from yeah, and then I bring in, for example, my other light, like this and then how does that affect what you see let's see so now it's brighter in here and that lit up means you're not going to see the stars so i'm not seeing anything except for you're not going to see anything because that street light that you've just brought in has washed out the stars that you've already created yeah. so you have the perfect scenario a beautiful dark night sky but it in some poorly designed street lights, well, they're going to make it much harder to see what you're looking for. And then we really get into, I wonder how we can make a better street light. Can we do something that brings that light down where we need it instead of up where it's lighting the sky? And that is as open ended as you can think of. So yeah, like even just while you were talking about it, I was thinking, so I had it straight straight up so having it covered like this and having it pointed straight up the whole top of my blanket is completely covered. i can see you're not looking at any stars under that blanket yeah but if i even just tilt it like this and have it go this way that light is pointing a lot more towards this direction so it's getting darker up here but i still have some light from the top of the like where my finger is there yeah a bit of light Absolutely. like straying up to the top and then you have options to create and design a light fitting that might cover up the street light so that the light goes down instead of up. And it's really interesting to see in around Cork City in particular, there's beautiful lighting on some of the Greenway Harbour walks and they're very well shielded. The light goes down, not up. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So and shielding. Would that be more important than pointing away? So instead of just having it like this, if we, even if it was like this and just covering it a bit, does that- does, that's, that's what we're asking. Can you find out? Can you model it? Yeah. Out and see, are there more stars visible? Because you've got a little light box planetarium there. You can look at the number of stars. Are only the brighter stars visible? What do you have to do to make those fainter stars visible? And all of this you can model yourself. Yeah, even just you can see on my face, like even just covering it with my hand, it's still, there's still light in here, but I can, yeah, there is. it's less going up into the top of the blanket. So at least even my hand as a shield makes a difference for sure. Yeah. Very. So we have a full resource about light pollution that you can find on the spaceweek.ie website. And this takes these ideas gives you a little bit of a hint and a help to be able to apply it and act on it yourself. Very cool. Well, now that I have my own little planetarium, I'm definitely going to find some dark spots and experiment myself here, Francis. Thanks so much. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Francis. Thank you so much. And check out our website for more details. We'll have links for teacher resources and other things that you can check out while you're at home and looking for new activities. Thanks, Francis. Bye.